the best ways to lose weight and keep it off according to science. There are several guidelines that are easy to follow if you're looking to lose weight. These tips might be helpful if you're struggling to lose weight or aiming to reboot eating plan with some healthier basics. Start eating more vegetables, especially greens. Dozens of scientific studies have tied diets high in vegetables, particularly greens, to a better health outcome, including weight loss and a decreased risk of a handful of chronic diseases. Vegetables like watercress, spinach, chives, and collard greens all rank highly on the Center for Disease Control and Prevention's list of powerhouse foods. So find a few you like and start adding them to your plate. Don't worry, most research does not suggest a need to slash meat, dairy, or fish from your diet. In fact, the best results typically appear to come from diets that combine high amounts of vegetables with healthy sources of protein, which include eggs, meat, and seafood. Try replacing soda or sweet tea with sugar-free drinks. Sweetened beverages like soda or juice can consume a large portion of the calories you intake every day, yet they do not fill you up in the same way solid food does. Harvard researchers tracked what happened when people either slashed their intake of sweetened drinks or started consuming more of them. Not surprising, the participants who increased their sugary drink intake gained weight and increased their risks of developing type 2 diabetes. Those who curbed their intake did not have those negative results. The next time you're looking for something other than water to drink, perhaps try a seltzer or unsweetened tea. Even diet soda is a better choice. Every time you pick up an overly sweetened beverage, you'll be cutting anywhere from 150 to 400 calories. Swap the white bread and rice in your meals for whole grains. One of the least healthy components of most American diets appears to be refined carbohydrates, a category that includes white bread and white rice. Refined carbs can also be found in other processed foods. They appear on nutritional labels as flour or refined flour. A 2012 study published in the journal Food and Nutrition Research found strong links between diets in high and refined carbohydrates and weight gain. One reason for this may be that refined grains are processed quickly and turned into sugar in the body. Whole grains get digested slowly and fill you up for hours. The key difference is that whole grains still have their nutritious, those parts get stripped off of refined carbs in a factory before you consume them. Cut back on carbs where you can. Several studies suggest that curbing your carbohydrate intake is an easy way to help stabilize blood sugar levels. And having a steady blood sugar level has been linked with beneficial health outcomes, including weight loss, higher energy levels throughout the day, and a reduced risk of chronic disease. Aim to lose only about one to two pounds per week. For sustainable weight loss, dietitians, exercise scientists, and nutritionists all recommend aiming to lose one to three pounds per week at most. Slimming down slowly instead of all at once gives you enough time to create healthy, new eating and exercise patterns that you can maintain for life. Move around more. Exercise is not a shortcut to weight loss for two reasons. One, when we amp up our activity levels, our hunger levels tend to increase. Second, it is far easier to eat hundreds of calories in a single sitting than it is to burn them off in one session at the gym. Regular movement of any kind is a key component of any healthy lifestyle. And it's especially important if you are looking to slim down and keep the weight off for the long haul. If you normally drive to work, try walking, biking, 
or taking the public transit system if possible. If you're used to taking the elevator, take the stairs next time. Make regular gym sessions part of your routine, but keep in mind that your appetite might increase. Pay attention to protein. Protein is a key ingredient that fuels our muscles and helps keep us feeling full. It also slows the breakdown of carbohydrates into sugar, thereby acting as a buffer against sharp dips and spikes in your insulin levels. For these reasons, it is a good idea to make sure you're getting plenty of protein in every meal. To make sure your protein intake isn't slouching, add items like tofu, eggs, lentils, fish, beans, and dairy products to vegetable and whole grain based meals. Beware of items labeled as low fat, reduced fat, and light. Low fat products sound amazing. Reduce your fat intake, get slim, right? The majority of scientific research suggests it actually does not work that way. One reason is that many products labeled as light, low fat, or reduced fat are highly processed and engineered to taste like their original full fat product. To accomplish this, food manufacturers typically add additional sugar and sugar, unlike fat, has been strongly implicated as a leading factor contributing to obesity and weight gain. Welcome some healthy snacks and fats back into your diet. One reason many dieters curb their fat intake, it's an easy way to cut calories. Fat is high in calories. Trim the fat, trim the calories. However, research is starting to show that eating fat does not necessarily lead us to putting on the pounds. Instead, it may help people lose weight. Perhaps by making us feel full and curbing our sugar consumption, this appears to be especially true for fats from sources like nuts, avocados, olive oil, and fish. Here's what that means for people who are counting their calories. Fatty foods are higher in calories than their low fat equivalents. So to account for that and cut back on carbs and sugar instead. Cut back on sugar. A growing body of evidence suggests that if there is a single villain in our diets when it comes to weight gain, it's sugar. So cut back on sweets and start paying attention to the sugar content on the labels of processed foods, especially in sauces, salad dressings, and dairy products. Try working out in the morning. If you choose to incorporate regular workouts into your plan, research suggests that an early morning workout on an empty stomach helps speed weight loss and boost energy levels by priming the body for an all-day fat burn. Exercising first thing in the morning may push the body to tap into its fat reserves for fuel instead of simply burning off the most recent snack or meal. Plus, working out early could mean you get more sunlight, which is key to properly setting your body's internal circadian rhythm. In one study, people who basked in bright sunlight within two hours after waking were thinner and better able to manage their weight than those who did not get any natural light regardless of what they ate throughout the day. If traditional diets haven't worked for you in the past, consider intermittent fasting. If you're looking to lose weight and other diets have failed you, you might want to try an eating plan known as intermittent fasting, after checking in with your doctor, of course. There are several versions of this diet, but one of the most popular involves fasting for 16 hours and eating for eight. 